This video is going to cover the installation of a vent cover over my fantastic fan on this new 2022 Arctic Fox 1150. These campers do not come with the vent cover installed. I don't know why. Maybe Arctic Fox wants to save a hundred bucks. But regardless, I'm putting one on because I don't like rain on the bed and I like to leave it open all the time. So what you need is this cover here. The Ultra Breeze Cover Assembly U1400BLS. I chose the black one, the smoke black, to give me a lot of coverage. It was about 115 bucks Canadian, and I'm going to install it right now. I'm not going to show me dragging it up to the roof because I got to crawl up the giant back ladder with this thing in my hand. Now to somehow climb up this ladder with this cover in one hand without breaking my neck. This should be interesting. Okay, here we are up top. Didn't fall off yet, anyway. This is the factory cover that comes on the fan. You're gonna leave that on. And uh, here's the new one here, partially assembled. I've just put this, slipped the bug screen in or grate, whatever it's called. You get a bunch of fasteners with it, a couple push pins here for the sides right here that you're going to install this way. I'm going to put those in right now. And you get four plastic rivets that are going to engage these pins down here. This cover is secured to the roof with four plastic pins and tabs with holes in them that push up. I don't know if you can see that because the shadow of the camera. but. Older models had a little steel clevis here. The new ones use a plastic rivet, and I'll show you what they look like. They look like this. And they are gonna go through the hole in the side of the cover, and through this hole here. And you gotta pop them in and secure it that way. So I'm gonna get started by securing this cover here right now. I've put one side in already, but Basically, they're just like automotive fasteners. Push them in place, and that'll secure this part of the vent cover. Make sure the plastic tabs are engaged up top. Now, it's fairly idiot-proof to install. You just line up the pins and the holes until you can get the plastic rivets in. and they just push through just like this. I'm gonna get a plastic mallet and tap them in the rest of the way. And you'll get, uh, I think I got four of these and a bunch of the other ones. I'm not sure why they send me so much of the other fasteners because I only needed two of them for right here. But this really just takes 10 minutes to install unless you fall off the roof and you need an ambulance trip to the hospital. So I'm gonna go secure the other side and then I'm gonna get a plastic mallet and finish tapping these in. Also, while I'm down there, I'm gonna see if I got any sealant for this roof. This is why you gotta inspect the roof on your camper all the time. This one is just a year old. There's a small hole here, and there's a hole in the sealant here. It's not from a screw head, I don't think. And there could be sealant underneath it. I'm not sure, but you can see that uh, if water gets in here, it's gonna get behind this front paneling and cause all kinds of problems. So I'm gonna reseal that in any other place I feel necessary. Just self-leveling sealant. I've got some in the garage. I'll bring it up with me. Okay, back up with the plastic mallet. You can probably use a metal hammer if you're careful. Just give them a little tap. They're too stiff to push in with your fingers. Just a little tap here. I'll secure them. Don't go crazy on it with Gorilla Strength because they're just plastic and they'll break them. And that's it for the installation of this cover. It's securely mounted. It's not going to blow off now. It looks good. I'll be able to leave the cover open on the inside now without getting water on top of the bed or anything. Installation is just minutes. Don't pay someone else to do this for you. If you can crawl up on top, 
pick one up and install it yourself. It just takes a few minutes. And on the 2022s, it comes, if they have a Dometic fan installed, fantastic fan, it comes with these plastic pieces on the base, not the old style uh, metal pins. So it's all snapped together like Lego. You can't mess it up. Now I'm gonna get some seal and reseal the uh, front lip on this thing because I can see it's deteriorated. This is not unusual with any type of RV. You gotta inspect your roof every year. And this one is a year old now, and I'm gonna to have to go over the whole roof and make sure it's, it's tight everywhere. Otherwise, you get water intrusion.